Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about Asana and specifically how to produce a form. And this is the form that we're going to produce. Uh, I'm going to create a form for submitting uh, a ticket to our IT support in my infamous uh, ticketing system. So I'm going to take you through a very brief process. Uh, I've taken a look at some of the videos online and found they're a little bit complicated and don't always stick to the point. So I'm just going to cover forms in this particular video and then we'll talk about workflow and rules and other bits and pieces in a part two video. So let's take a look at forms. So here we are. I'm going to use my trusty support ticketing system as the project for my form. Forms are available here from the customize menu, so not entirely intuitive. And it's the third one down, not surprisingly, called Forms. Click on the Forms, and up comes the Add Form dialog box. So it takes the name from the ticketing system and allows you to add a description, which we can add here. So this is for submitting. Uh, I'll call it IT requests. Uh, and you can add the various bits and pieces. There's plenty of options uh, in terms of formatting. Um, you can also add a cover image. Uh, I don't have the upgraded version of Asana and this one. Uh, it's not available to everyone even on the paid, some of the paid accounts. And one of the things that I should point out here is, is access. Uh, it says here anyone can access this form, so it's anyone inside or outside of your organization. For this one, I'm going to would probably mark it as organization only because they're submitting internal uh, tickets, but for now I'm going to leave it as is. So let's let's go ahead and make the form itself. So let's start with the name, and these are the defaults when you open the form. But what I'm going to do is I already have uh, the name set up within my project so I can connect it to a field and I've referred to it as your name as in the name of the submitter here uh, it's required and their email address uh, I haven't connected it to a field on this one so I'll add it in here and call it the user email address uh, and it's a text field um, but there are other options uh, available here. So I'll create that. And then I'll want to know uh, additional pieces for this. So I'm going to add some additional fields here. So I will want. Can I try that? No, I can't. So I'll want. Uh, let me have a description. description of the issue uh, and so obviously it's going to be a required field uh, I'm going to connect it to uh, I've already created the field called detailed description and then I want to know I want to know who where this person is because probably if their uh, computer is out or their IT is out uh, I want to know where they are, so what department they're in, so I can come and find them. Uh, and I'll connect that to field, and I've called your department, and I've, I've given the options of sales, marketing, operations, and HR, etc. I probably need that as required if I need to find them. Uh, and then I want probably another single select. Uh, and this one, I'll need to know the priority. So the temptation with all the users is, of course, it's absolute maximum priority. Uh, I have a priority field high, set at high, medium and low. I kind of expect everything to come up as high, knowing most users, but there we are, it's there. And that's probably all I need to know in terms of the form itself. So really simple to put together. It's just a case of creating your questions. Um, you can section these out, you know, you can add in headings here and attachments and you know, pictures of the issue and so on and so forth. Um, but that's it, really simple, really straightforward. 
So, uh, one of the important things here is this share form. So I can send it to a recipient, so anybody within my organization, uh, or I can copy the link. And if I open this up in a window, you could paste a link to this anywhere within your organization. So let's have a bash. I'll put this in here. So my name for now is Joe Bloggs. Uh, my email address is blogs.com uh, I'm going to say that I work in finance uh, and I'm going to say that my uh, screen doesn't work on my computer um, I'm going to kind of say well it's a laptop I could probably it's medium and I'm going to submit this and that's it, the form is submitted and it's received. That's it, that's all there is to forms, that's all there is to users. So really, really straightforward. Let's have a look at our ticketing system now. And we can see here that we've got a submission. It hasn't been assigned to anyone, it doesn't have a due date because I didn't put those in the form. Um, but we can see that Joe Blogg submitted this and they work in finance and here's the screen doesn't work and that's my user email. So you see, I don't necessarily need to add every single item uh, on my task within the back end of Asana uh, within my form. I can cut that down and, and that's a good thing because the fewer the number of forms there, uh, sorry, the fewer the number of fields there are on the form, the more likely that people are to use it. So kind of bear that in mind. Um, and I could just say, okay, I'm going to assign this to Thomas, uh, and I'm going to set the due date rather than the user setting the due date of let's do it tomorrow. And we know that this is a hardware issue. We're not asking the user to diagnose that. And hey presto, it's within the system. Uh, that's it, super simple. Uh, don't want to overcomplicate it, so I'm going to draw the line here. That's forms, that's the end of it. As with many things in Asana, uh, it's likely that, that these will change in the near future and more features will be added. But that gives you a good overview of forms and one of the most simple ways to kind of put a form together and get the data directly into Asana. I suggest that you play around with these. Uh, you can't really break anything, all you're doing is adding more data. Play around with it, play around with the fields, find what works for you, but always keep to the principle of the fewer the fields and the less complex they are, the more likely that your user is going to submit data within it. So just bear that in mind. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.